What is going on guys? You're watching The Hungry Handgunner. I'm Nick. Now, we have a lot of fun on the channel. We shoot a lot of different things. I uh, try to give you guys reviews, um, my training regimen, if you will. Training. It's kind of hard to do the live fire training that I was doing with the ammo situation. But we haven't really gotten crazy scientific with that. Uh, at least as much as a scientific approach as a Georgia boy can get. But that's going to start changing because chronograph. So this is the uh, Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. We're going to be figuring out how to use it, and I've got a couple experiments that we're going to be doing. And the first one we're going to do is how is 9mm affected by barrel length? I'm going to be using some 124 grain Fiocchi factory ammunition with a stated velocity of 1,050 feet per second, I believe. I'll double check that before we shoot. Um, and we're going to try it out of a variety of barrel lengths, uh, CZP09, CZP10C, and Smith & Wesson MP Shield, and just kind of illustrate um, how it's affected, if at all, by barrel length. So let me get this finished setting up, and we'll get to it. All right, so we're going to be starting off with my CZP09 Urban Gray. That's what it is, guys. Nothing crazy, just some 124 grain full metal jacket from Fiocchi. I did misspeak. It's not 1,050 feet per second. It is 1,150 feet per second stated velocity. So we're going to fire five rounds. I'll read those um, chrono readings out to you, and then I'll put them up on the screen as well. All right, we're doing this from seven yards away. I'll do five shots. It's like 12.15. Twelve twenty nine, twelve forty two, eleven forty five, and eleven fifty one. All right, we'll go on to the next one. Alright, the next gun we're going to be testing is going to be in the compact or mid-size category. This is my CZ P10C. Again, same ammunition. We're going to do five rounds. And get the chrono readings for you. One thousand one hundred and twenty four, one thousand one hundred and four, got an error on that one, one thousand and five, and because we got an error, we'll do one more round. Steel target hit, and that one was 11 11. All right, my next one is going to be the Smith and Wesson MMP Shield 2.0. This is a compact or subcompact, uh, I should say, category. So, this will be definitely uh, representative of kind of the full spectrum here, at least as much as I can offer that to you. So, five rounds of the Fioki 124 grain full metal jacket. Let's go see what they do on the chrono. Nine forty six, one thousand fifty three, we got an error, we'll have to redo that one, one thousand twenty one. Nine eighty nine and make up that error shot. One thousand twenty one.
So this is just something to keep in mind as you're choosing defensive ammunition, defensive handguns. A lot of times that ammunition, especially now we're seeing a whole line of ammunition designed for guns like this, the MMP shield, other subcompact firearms. But we can definitely tell just from today's uh, rudimentary test that there's a pretty big difference in velocity between something like the P09 and the MMP shield 2.0. So this isn't uh, definitive science. This isn't going to be the same deviation for all ammunition types. That's just what I had as far as factory ammunition, so I figured we would test that. As you start getting into uh, different things, hand loads and things like that, you may notice a little bit more consistency as far as variation. Depending on how you load your ammo, so I allow myself one-tenth of a grain powder variants. Uh, I'm not sure what Fioki offers, but I do know that different uh, factory ammunition manufacturers do have significantly higher standards of deviation with powder charge at times from what I have heard. So there is that you can hand load down to pretty tight consistency but uh, there are going to be environmental factors you just can't control. The wind, uh, temperature, humidity, and even the burn rate of the powder, the humidity that was inside the case when the cartridge was assembled, things like that can all impact burn rate and velocity out of the muzzle. So again, that was just a seven yard test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna do more with the chronograph as time goes on. Uh, it should be fun. All right, thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.